Beautiful, the Amazons. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Chris. How are you all? Sleepy. <laughs> Actually, we were sleepy. Until. You can't be sleepy now. No, no. Uh, not after that performance of Bittersweet Symphony, which was like an hour and a bit ago. Uh, we've had Black Magic. We've had Blood Rush let you sing from their upcoming album. How will I know if heaven will find me? How did you know if this album was ever going to A, be conceived, uh, B, be produced, and finally come together and be available um, as it will be in September? We definitely didn't. But I think in such a kind of powerless situation the one thing that we could do was just write music right. and just kind of write our way out of it. Okay, so tell us about that. Tell us about the thoughts and the feelings that you had uh, under lockdown uh, when the world had gone crazy. Liam's on later. Liam's uh, new album out today. That was a, That's yeah. a lockdown baby as well. Same kind of vibe for all artists. At least you have this outlet, don't you, to, to vent whatever it is is going on. Definitely. I think who wants to hear a song about, uh, hear an album about COVID specifically? But I think what's more interested is the n interesting is the knock-on effects and how we've all adapted to it. Um, the record for us is kind of based around a long-distance relationship that I've been kind of keeping together over the pandemic and um, everything around that. And uh, a lot of the songs are just me trying to communicate to that person and trying to connect with them and trying to bridge, bridge uh, the gap, really, of time and distance. So you were, you were hankering after um, everything that's important in life, and then you got a sort of a, a sort of cider press um, distilled version of it, um, concentrated version of it, if you like, in New Mexico. What happened? In Mexico. Yeah, didn't you get together? Did, were you in quarantine for a couple of months together? Yeah. So Can we talk about that? Are we allowed to. Talk oh about yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. I think we've cleared it. Um, so yeah, it, it was a time where my my girlfriend lives in the states and. Uh, it was a time where, the, for a long time, the border was closed and the only loophole that I found scouring for hours and days and months on these um, Facebook groups, like Lovers Not Tourism and connecting people separated by travel bans and all that kind of stuff, what I found out is that you could go to Mexico and kind of, that was one of the few places that you could meet up and we spent a couple of weeks there and, and, and yeah, was able to and go to LA afterwards completely legally and, and wrote a lot of this record there. Okay, uh, 2017, how long have you been together? 2017 was the first album. Oh my goodness. So eight years, and uh, well, this is a good opportunity to say that Toby on the drums today is doing an amazing job, but he actually isn't our original drummer. Great job, oh, that's Toby. Toby, awesome. Yeah. Joe, Joe can't be here for personal reasons today. Yeah, that's right, and um, we just want to dedicate the, all of the songs to him, um, Bittersweet Symphony especially, and to... Um, to Martin, um, his his dad was the most lovely and wonderful and kind and warm person and uh, we're going to sorely, sorely miss that guy and it's one of the few people in life that you see uh, and you can point to and said that guy really lived and he's such an example to us all to just really live every single day with such zest and uh, so yeah, we miss Joe and we miss Martin, so yeah. Yeah, live life, find joy, no love. Yeah, That's the deal, isn't it? Um, heading towards the tour, 12-day uh, tour. Yes. Yeah, is that, is that, is that uh, small and perfectly formed? Do you like it to, uh, 12 days? <laughs> How is that? After the last couple of years, we like them as long as possible. <laughs> yeah. So uh, looking at my manager, let's go on to the agent. Um, so yeah, we're going to go um, around the UK in October and uh, in November, we're going to head over to Europe. Okay, so October, we've got the dates here. Uh, Dublin, this is from Wednesday the 5th and on going through it out October. Dublin, Belfast, Manchester, Nottingham, Southampton, Bristol, Leeds, Birmingham, Glasgow, Newcastle upon Tyne, Norwich, London. Nice, October's nice, man. Yeah. You get, the, you get the, the summer out of the way, a few festivals, yeah. you appear at a few, you go to a few, you enjoy a few. Then September, you th start thinking about your Christmas presents. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and then October just as we need it a bit of rock and roll joy exactly as right. the dark nights draw in serious touring season serious from about tour. September onwards yeah, like everyone on. I think there's even like a shortage of like fans and tour buses we're finding that in um, yeah even this summer even this summer yeah uh, okay will the, will the album be available on vinyl in September oh most certainly we've got all so sorts of vinyl we've got deluxe editions we've got incredible bundles of amazing 
Box Fresh merch. Any color you like. <laughs> we've got we, we whatever you want. We've got it. Uh, did, you, did you hear about the Adele uh, vinyl shortage last year? Did you hear about that? Yes. What? Well, as in, she caused the vinyl shortage because she bought up all the vinyl. <laughs> well, she did. It's not Adele's fault, for heaven's sake. Well, Would you like to be in that position? Oh, that would be a great <laughs> position to be in. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for being here today and putting all the effort in because, especially without your regular drum. Well done, Toby. Again, I mean, yeah, that Toby's is, been amazing. Uh, yeah, it's really unbelievable. Uh, good luck with everything. Blood Rush is out now. The album How Will I Know If Heaven Will Find Me is uh, current. It, it's finished incubating, I suppose. Um, it has, it has, it's there somewhere, isn't it? But we can't get to see it. No, and no. on the maternity ward, visiting hours are not allowed <laughs> until September. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, perfect. All right. And the tour uh, tickets for the tour available now at the Amazons.co.uk. Could you please gift us one more time your take on Rich Dash Cross Bittersweet? We would love to. If you could um, ask Liam Gallagher if there's any more slots for Nebworth <laughs> next week, because we're looking for a gig. Well, why don't you ask him? Oh, God. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. That'll be, that'll be the final question of the interview, because I, you know, yeah. I don't need to blow the interview. So, like, if he gets up, on, if he, he's not happy with it, it doesn't matter because the interview will be in the bag. All right. <laughs> Okay, so, so next week at Nebworth is Liam Gallagher, Kasabian, and probably the Amazons. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We'll see how all this one goes. <laughs>